Hello, these are facts about kookaburras. Kookaburras are terrestrial ki- tree kingfishers. They're native to Papua New Guinea, islands around Australia and Australia. They are most well known for their loud, strange sound that they make. I am not a kookaburra, so I cannot make the sound. It's a bit cackly, like if you haven't heard it, there's a lot of videos of it making sounds and they're very clear because they go next to people a lot. They can grow up to 42 centimetres. Laughing kookaburra is the most common and has the widest range. They are found in, laughing kookaburra is found in basically everywhere in Australia except Darwin and around there. There, there is a blue-winged kookaburra instead. The blue-winged kookaburra is a large kookaburra, same as a laughing kookaburra. The other ones are quite large, and they are the, he- the laughing kookaburra is the heaviest kingfisher. They are just very large in general. They are just under the giant kingfisher for the largest cook- the kookaburra kingfisher. They weigh about 500 grams. The blue wing kookaburra is just very similar to the laughing kookaburra, but except it has a lot more blue on its wings. I'm back, I got interrupted. There is another species of kookaburra called the spangled kookaburra. This is one of the most tribe of the kookaburras. It does not have a proper... It does not have really proper sort of colour regions. Its colours are more or less modelled around everywhere giving it a bit of a dirty look. The blue wing kookaburra is pretty similar, except it has a little bit less of the shaggy feather mismatching. The laughing kookaburra and the rufous-bellied kookaburra probably had the most uniform plumage, meaning feathers. The rufous-bellied kookaburra has a rusty belly with blue wings, and by blue wings, I mean like cyan, a slight greeny bill, and the rest of it's white with a black head. The bottom of its head is white too. These birds, these birds are very dangerous to other birds. They only really get preyed on by la- very large eagles such as wedge-tail eagle. As these birds have a large beak, which can attack them, most animals don't try to attack kookaburras. To show that they, to intimidate other cr- birds, they call at dawn, making them seem like they're not afraid of owls. Owls are one of the only things that can really take down a kookaburra, besides a wedge-tail eagle or any other large eagle because they mainly have the element of surprise, as the kookaburra is more agile than it and smaller, so it can weave through bushes much easier. Kookaburras are quite smart and are able to be very, f- and are very friendly to humans. Like an experience I had once, I was a couple of centimetres from a kookaburra, I didn't even care. The reason of this friendliness is that because they don't have many predators, Besides all the cats and foxes, and then the aerial predators such as eagles, they don't have to worry about much, and they really and they just know how what a cat looks like. Kookaburras really like to eat mice, fish, mealworms. They have very varied diet, but most all of it's meat. These are very different compared to their little cousins, normal kingfishers, such as the little kingfisher, which is a bright blue bird, which is extremely tiny and has a white belly. They look like a kookaburra, but with those colours I just said, and about a fourth of the size. Kookaburras are a pretty easy bird to find in suburbs. They don't live like say magpies and like in your garden but if you live next to a reserve you probably will hear the kookaburras making a sound i'm not sure about the other species except the laughing